Hi guys, Dean here again. Um, back so soon, crazy. Um, so this is basically going to be the record store day um, purchases I got, uh, which was last weekend, weekend before. So like I said, crazy two weeks after the event. Um, so hopefully everybody got what they wanted. I didn't. Um, there were two things on the list that um, there's one thing I really wanted, which I got. Um, my number two and I, number three items I didn't. Uh, number two was the White Stripes uh, John Peel Sessions, which I really, really wanted. That was number two. And uh, third one was the Nirvana live set. Um, now sadly, which is the way of record store day, as we all know, um, came home at lunchtime after missing out and I queued up from like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, whatever it was. Um, and we just had a shortage in the UK. I think you know the guys in the US had a lot more of the white stripes, possibly than the Nirvana one. But the annoyance is obviously you get home at lunchtime and you see the white stripes is now on eBay for £99 rather than the £40 I could have bought it in the shop for if I'd managed to get hold of one. Um, and I had a better set to actually one of the guys on eBay. Um, he was asking £99 for it. I had a best offer option. Um, his best offer ended up turning out to be 3p cheaper than the £99 um, so I had a bit of a go sort of saying look so, you know, I'm trying to buy it from Record Store Day uh, missed out so I says £99 is a bit expensive I says it's not worth that it's just what you're asking for it um, hoping that the best offer would have been a better deal and he says look turn around and says I'm doing you guys a favour you can't be bothered getting up on Record Store Day to you know queue up outside in the cold and dark for the records that you want I'm doing that for you um, basically said I've bought the records I want so I've bought a few more that I didn't particularly want so I can sell on eBay to pay for the stuff that I wanted and that sort of answered my question right there that's not what record store day is all about you know I could have done the same I could have gone out bought the records I got and I thought well okay I'll buy a few extra of these as well stuff I don't need that I know I can sell on eBay for a profit because people can't get to record stores um, and are willing to pay that money fair dues um, but as I said to him, I says it's people like him that bought the white stripes, knowing they can make a profit on it because the you know the, uh, the lack of numbers that stopped me from getting it at forty pounds. Um, so it was a bit annoying, and there's been loads in the US, as I'm sure you guys into the white stripes will see as well on eBay. Um, there were just absolutely loads of them, um, and it's really annoying. Everybody's asking stupid money for it. Um, it is meant to be coming out on vinyl later on in the year on black vinyl. This is the red and uh, white issue, I think, um, the RSD version. So cross fingers that appears, or I find one on eBay for a reasonable amount. I don't mind paying 50, 60 for it, but I'm not going to pay 100. You know, it's a 40, 40 pound album anyway, so I don't mind paying a bit extra, but just annoys me. Um, that's my RSD rant over anyway, so we'll get on to the records. So number one on the list, thankfully, is one I got, which. I'm sure you'll all manage to uh, figure out, of course, it was the Iron Maiden picture disc. Now, my annoyance first, it was a picture disc, but I thought, well, end of the day, it's Empire of the Clouds. Um, essentially, we have that on its own 12-inch anyway on the album, because it takes up the whole last side, side six of the album. Um, we've got the interview on there as well, but the... To be fair to them, and this is Iron Maiden's first um, foray into Record Store Day. Um, so I hoped it was going to be a standard vinyl release, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but as a picture disc, I think it's one of the best packages they've done. You can see it's a die cut um, sleeve on there. On the back, is essentially it's a recreation of the uh, Daily Mirror newspaper from the R101 disaster that the song is about and I think they've done a really nice job on there to be fair um, you know it's um, it's true to the song um, it's a nice you know opener for Iron Maiden as well if they're going to go down that route um, of doing record store day so you've got some specially commissioned Eddie artwork as well it's very nice obviously the back pretty standard fare um, but yeah, so I was happy to get this. I mean, this again, it wasn't particularly expensive either. I think it was about seventeen pounds, so not too bad, um, you know, for our maiden. And again, these appeared on eBay, but nowhere in the same sort of um, 
quantities or crazy prices really that I thought they may do. But I think that's down to the fact that it wasn't hugely limited. I think in the UK we had about five, five and a half thousand and it was six thousand for the US. So um, yeah, so there's eleven and a half thousand out there in the wild um, to grab. So I think most fans that wanted it would have got hold of it. So which is good, and that's the way it should be. You know, rather than you know they could have gone mad and just said we're going to do a thousand worldwide and that's it, and you'd have seen them on eBay, same as the white stripes for hundred, two hundred pounds, I'm sure. So that was a good one to get. And thankfully, I did get it. So happy days. Um, so next I'll quickly go through these, I'll not open them but because um, most of you have seen the RSD releases anyway. Uh, it's the Cramps, live at the Keystone Club in 1979. Um, again, those of you that uh, have seen my previous videos will know I'm a Cramps fan. Uh, so this is on a pretty much green vinyl, that, that sort of crazy, sort of snot green colour, lovely. Um, next one which you may or may not have thought I might have picked up. Which will lead me to another video shortly, I'll explain. Um, it's the Alanis Morissette demos. Um, now this was sort of taken around the time of the Jagged Little Pill demos, um, so sort of between 94 and 98. Um, but this is stuff that um, I don't think has previously been released on vinyl. Anyway, I think there, there was a CD that came out of this or similar material, but it's again it's quite a nice little package. It came in its own sort of clear little um, envelope and it's got the uh, vinyl there, so sort of splatter vinyl and inside there's like um, another sheet as well which is like a frosted sheet which is what this thing is all about so that's quite a nice package and again that was cheap as well so that was good. I hate this room as well, I need a, need a more space. Um, Fleetwood Mac, Tusk, this is the alternate version of Tusk, um, and again, pretty um, pretty big Fleetwood Mac fan, got a lot of their stuff, so, um, it wasn't top of my list by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought, you know, I may as well grab it now, it, you know, at um, the retail price they were asking, um, rather than trying to pick it up on eBay later on when maybe that price gets inflated. Uh, this one I did really want, this is Rodrigo Gabriela, it's live in Manchester, um, and Dublin, sorry. Um, I do love their stuff, I mean, there. if nobody's heard it, um, certainly if you're a metal fan, listen to their version of Orion, it sounds absolutely superb, um, and they've done lots of covers, certainly from rock and metal bands over the years, uh, on here you've got two different versions, one. Um, haven't listened to this yet, so really looking forward to uh, seeing what that's like. So happy to get that. Um, another one, which um, again, this was a bit of a. I've heard some of her stuff, but I've not heard a huge amount of stuff. Uh, Regina Spector, Regina Spector. This is Soviet Kitsch, um, and this came with a little seven-inch as well. Um, so yeah, really happy to have this. And this was again, this was like a really good price. Um, but it's just one of those I do like to buy a record every now and again. That's just, um, you know, something a bit different. Um, something that's gonna not necessarily challenge me, but something I wouldn't normally buy. Um, but I do like my female singer songwriter artists anyway. So um, the stuff I have heard of hers has been really good. So um, almost, but she did have two uh, releases for Record Store Day. Um, Picked on this one mainly because it had the additional seven inch, and so I thought, yeah, it was a nice little package. I'll grab that. Um, I think that was it. There was a couple of things that I got um, for the other half. Um, there's a Buffalo Stance picture disc and the um, Florence and the Machine 12 inch. Um, the only other things I got were. Um, I find them. The um, Wayne Hussey 7 inch. Um, Wayne Hussey, can't remember if I mentioned, uh, is was the lead singer of The Mission. Um, it's like a goth rock band uh, from the 80s. 
Um, superb band, um, fantastic albums. Children was again still one of my favourite albums. Um, yeah, such great artists. I mean, he did a lot of work with a few artists around that sort of era as well. Um, but this is just some material I haven't heard before. Um, but it does seem to be from part of the Cancionis de Cuna benefit album. I probably pronounced that completely wrong. Um, but yeah, listen to this typical um, Wayne Hussey mission esque um, sort of style stuff. So again, if you want to listen to that, recommended. Um, also picked up um, a seven inch. This was the uh, Jimmy Page reissue. Uh, which I think was his first recording, uh, She Just Satisfies, uh, on the Fontana label, so it's a reproduction. If you guys can see that there. Um, the originals on this go for around £500 apparently. Um, I think this was about seven, so much more appealing. Um, yeah, sounds great. I mean, it's Jimmy Page, first recording, you know, can't not get that. Um, and it's done really well it's a really nice little package um you know bare bones but that's what you want keeps the cost down fantastic so that was my record store day um so yeah let me know if you guys managed to get everything you wanted if there's anything you didn't get let me know um because there's still quite a lot of shops with some record store day stock as well um, and i'm sure it's the same in the us as well not everybody manages to sell out of all the stuff um it's difficult for shops to sort of get that balance of getting the stock in for their customers that they know they're going to want and you know keep a broad mix as well um so if anything you didn't get let me know and we may still have it over here so we can, you know, can always send that through so um anyway thanks for watching again uh, see you guys soon